Australian honeybees are kept in areas where the flora yields nectar and pollen. Some flora yields no surplus nectar or pollen for collection by honeybees. The plants that bees use are called honey and pollen flora. These plants produce flowers that yield large amounts of surplus nectar and pollen for the bees to collect. The types of flora are ground flora, agricultural crops and forests. The flowers of honey and pollen flora are often brightly coloured and sweet smelling to attract the honey bees. 70 to 80 per cent of Australia's honey is produced from native plants such as eucalypts. The main honey production is from our unique leatherwood tree which is only found on the west coast of Tasmania in world heritage areas. It needs a terrific rainfall in order for it to do any good. The main honey producing flora in Western Australia comes from our coastal plain north of Perth, from Perth to Dongra, where we have hundreds of different flowering plants on our sand plain that produce nectar and pollen. And about a third of our honey production comes from that in a good year. From there we go on to red gum, which is perhaps our most reliable uh, producer of nectar and pollen, and perhaps then jarrah, uh, sometimes carry, and even the goldfields. And in between we also have uh, some white gum producing as well. Queensland, the dominant honey, which and the premium honey, is the ironbark species. And we have a number of ironbarks that are produced in Queensland. So from the exquisite Cayley's ironbark, which is a very pleasant, mild, very light coloured, mild flavoured honey. Uh, we have blue top ironbark, we have silver leaf ironbark, narrow leaf ironbark, grey ironbark, and uh, broadleaf ironbark. We have another honey which is a little irregular on the coast, but when it does yield it is a magnificent mild flavoured straw coloured honey, brush box. Then the next major crop, or major, even more significant in terms of volume, would be the Yapunya crop from the channel country of far southwest Queensland. Another very good blending honey is the uh, Coolabar. Again in New South Wales we look very much towards the ironbark production. Uh, and indeed it, it's, you find again you've got the coastal grey ironbark, you have your uh, um, broadleaf ironbark, narrowleaf ironbark, and mugger ironbark, or red ironbark as it's called in Victoria. The next, probably the most significant single fl uh, floral source would be Salvation Jane. And Salvation Jane is no, more noted for the carpets of beautiful purple carpets. Apart from that, there are there's just a wide variety of floral site types in New South Wales, which makes it Australia's premier honey producing state. In Australia, honey and pollen flows occur in different locations over a 12-month period. However, most plants flower during the warmest months of the year, and this is the busiest gathering period for honeybees and beekeepers.